Good morning, <laughs> guys and girls. How we doing? It's a half eight in the morning. I've had a lay in. It's a day off, so nothing better to do today but do a few little jobs and stuff. So I'm gonna do a little vlog. Hope you enjoy it. And uh, yeah, let's get up and uh, have a shower and get on with the episode. Here we go. All good, I'm showered and dressed now. Boom. <laughs> right, let's get the most important thing going straight away. Oh, bacon. Let's get a bacon sarnie going. What's he going to go with, red or brown? Ooh. <laughs> gone with brown, gone with brown, gone with brown. Get in. Right, so there's a few things I want to do today. I'm in day off. I'm gonna get my car cleaned. My car is an absolute mess at the moment. So I'm gonna get that cleaned. So that's one thing I can do. And the second thing is, I'm gonna go down the laundrette. <laughs> well, I remember I've got a shout out that's come in this morning off of a geezer called, his name's Lee Tutton. And he used to be in Kingsbury, London. Now he lives, I'm um, sorry. Used to live in London. Now he lives in Kingsbury in Perth, Australia. How about that, Pucker? He, he hasn't sent a photo because you don't know how to. But cheers for the for, for the uh, message, Lee. Nice one. There's your shout out, bud. Hope you're keeping well. Right, let's crack on. <laughs> and let's get moving. First thing I've got to do today is I've got a lot of. <laughs> I'm so bad. Look, I've got a shovel and a couple of buckets in the back of my car. I'm gonna go and get my car valeted. So I'm gonna get all that stuff. I've got my boot is absolutely full of tools as well. Oh, I'm such a nightmare. So I've got to get all that stuff out. I'm gonna put all that in my garage, and then I'm gonna to go to the laundrette and get this lot sorted out. So I've got to get some change as well. Oh, what a nightmare it is. You try and do something easy, don't you, on your day off, and you think, right, first of all, I've got to do this. Then I've got to do that. Then that, just to do the one thing that you want to do. But anyway, let's do it anyway. There's no point in moaning about it because if you do that, you're going to be sad all day. And we don't like being sad, do we? Ha <laughs> ha. Let's go get rid of these tools. Good stuff. That's the boot empty. That hasn't been empty for a long time. Look how dirty that is in there. That is all got to be clean. Look, I've got dirt all up here everywhere. I'm going to get them boys to give this good clean. Get my car back tip top. The next stop, let's go and get some change for the laundrette. Let's get this change. Oh, thank you very much. The post office. 25 minutes later, after queuing behind someone who was doing eBay, I must have had 30 parcels to send. <laughs> I got me pound coins. Let's go do some laundry. <laughs> Hiya. How are you doing? All right. Good. I've got a day off, so I've come to the laundry. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. Good. Yeah. Oh. This is good. Okay. Oh. Shop my car for it. Got the conditioner in it, boys and girls. Yeah. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is the washing in the washing machine. That's going to take 37 minutes. So I am now going to, or I'm hoping it's going to be open. The boys, the Eastern European boys. Let's go and see them and see if they can work wonders with my car. Make it nice and clean. Ha <laughs> ha, let's go.
Oh man. Come in, it don't look like it's open. Oh, it's closed. No. They're closed. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm gutted, man. Oh, I was well looking forward to getting my car cleaned. Oh! Lockdown has done it me in. No car clean. Boo! Right, so, I've made the decision. If the, if the car wash ain't open, I'm going to have to bring the car wash to me, you know. I'm going to have to do it myself. I do know where there's a little garage where you chuck a couple of quid in and then you can blast it off with a hose. Surely that's going to be open. But in the meantime, because my stuff's washing and I'm not going to have time to do my car properly myself, I'm going to shoot round Screwfix and go and get something for me and Si. Let's go around there and see what I'm going to buy. Ha ha! Well, it's going to be something work related. So, happy days! New toys! Here we are at Screwfix. Let's get some stuff. What did he get? What did he get? He got presents. He got joint and irons. I got me inside a joint and iron each. I was going to get the small ones as well, but they didn't have any in stock. So I just got these two. They're about a tenner each, I think. What were they? Nine pound, nine pound fifty each. Steep for a joint and iron, isn't it? And I bought because I'm fed up. I'm not having a knife. Oh, well, a, a sharp knife. So I bought myself a little knife as well. Boom, quick release at the end. And it flicks in and out really easily. Good little knife. I've had this one before, but I lost it. But it's a brilliant little pocket knife. So yeah, that's cool. Right, back to the laundrette. See if them clothes have been washed. Then I can put them in the tumble dryer. I knew I shouldn't have gone this way. Stuck by the train tracks. <laughs> oh traffic bags right up here going to be waiting here for ages oh well this uh good for you we can fast forward to the laundrette hey here we go Boom. walked in the door and it was washed let's get it in the tumble dryer yeah. So while I'm waiting for my uh, clothes to get dry, might as well watch a little movie. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Sweeney Todd. I love this film. Musical, Sweeney Todd. The Demon Barber of Fleet Street. Superb. Oh, someone's ringing. Who we got? Who we got? It's Tom Coe. There he is. How you doing, bud? No, this is quite a surreal thing, I think. You actually need a knife to get the knife out of the knife bag, the, the knife packaging. <laughs> Makes me laugh. Anyway, I've got to go and get myself something for my wrist as well, because my wrist's been giving me grief, so I'm going to go to the chemist in a bit. Once I've washed my car, I'm going to get to the chemist and get something for my wrist. Yeah, so that's another little challenge for the day. Get to the chemist, yeah. So that's me washing all done, all folded nicely in there, and all my pants and socks in the bag. Happy days, let's get that back home. And then we can shoot down to Mersey and I can do my car. Woo wee, yeah, boy. No, you're joking me. Oh, I wonder if I can use a Hoover. Let's 
the Hoover thing still on. Yeah, I can still use the Hoover jackpot. the car a little bit cleaner it's still not spotless in here because i'm not as good as them guys down the down the car wash at this and i ain't got all the gear you know what i mean so i've got that hoover there so i've hoovered it all up but i can't wash it because the car wash is kaput so i'm gonna have to go home and do it with a bucket and sponge but you know what after all that driving and that i don't know if i could be bothered <laughs> Well, it stopped raining, it didn't really rain for very long, so I'm going to do my car after all. And I'm going to do the uh, entrance stuff uh, when I can get to site and do some filming of some brickwork. So I want to put some shots of some brickwork in it, so I'm going to do that next time I'm on site. Happy days! Alright, let's give this filthy dirty car a good clean. Ugh, look, it's dirty. It's been on site, look. Ugh. It's been on site. I need a good scrub. Let's get it clean.
yeah, boy. There we go, she's all clean. Happy with that, look at that, shining like a new penny. Woohoo! Yeah, boy. I'm a happy boy now, my car's clean. Ha <laughs> ha! That's it, get all these last little bits. Lovely old job, that's that done. Well, that's that then, Pucker. That's the car sorted out. Another job done. I tell you what, I've gone through a few things today. Happy with the way things are gone today, that's for sure. Brilliant. Right, so anyway, guys, any of you who want to get a shout out, don't forget to send them shout outs to me at the address in the description, and uh, we can get you on an episode soon. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, tomorrow, me and the Tricky Brickies are going to be back in North Farmbridge. So uh, tune into that. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Again, a bit different to the normal one. Every now and then when we got a day off, I've got to do something, in I? So <laughs> happy days. Take it easy, guys. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Pow.